What's going on, guys? I'm Venom Two Man, and if you haven't heard the big news at Comic Con, they announced that the Man of Steel sequel will, in fact, have Batman. Woo! Batman. Batman. That's his favorite superhero. Yes. Batman. Now, they didn't announce the name of it. They didn't say anything. People were assuming it's going to be called World's Finest. What do you, you know what the World's Finest is, right? That's the comic book that had Superman and Batman meet up and team up. Ah, uh, that didn't know. Yeah, the well, World's Finest. People were like, it's going to be called World's Finest. Now. It's about time they made a live action movie with them two in it. Right, and remember uh, way back when, like, I Am Legend actually had a logo because they said they were going to do that then, Superman and Batman movie. It had the logos and Times Square and everything, and that never happened. So now it's happening. The Man of Steel sequel, and it's going to have Batman. And Superman. Superman. What do you think about this? It's awesome. I want to know what the plot is going to be. Is they going to be in Gotham? Is it going to be in Metropolis? Or is they going to be like, how far is Metropolis to Gotham? I don't know. I say states. No. Like, who's going to be the main villain in there? Is it going to be like a Batman Superman movie? Or the cartoon Lex Luthor and Joker going to team up, so them two have to team up. Or maybe it could be um, the start of the Justice League. Like, Batman wants Superman to join the Justice League, and Superman doesn't see the point. I think it would be the other way around if that did happen. I think it would be like Superman, like, hey, we need to form the Justice League, and Batman's like, no, 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 no what? No. But what was funny, though? Yeah. I've been watching, um, the Batman animated series, yeah. the Batman animated series and the Batman, and you, how you just said that, is the way I just said it ha is how it happened in the Batman. Batman wanted Superman to join Justice League, and Superman was like, I work alone. Yeah, because Superman is like, I'm stronger than all of you, blah, blah, blah. But, what I think, I think, actually, the complete opposite of what you think. I think that Batman is going to be the villain. It's gonna be like the anti-hero, right? Mm -hmm. What I think is that in Man of Steel, all of that, because Zack Snyder said, you know, there's gonna be repercussions for his actions, you know. S Superman is going to be dealing with him. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen Man of Steel, then don't watch this video, because you need to see Man of Steel first. This is the sequel we're talking about, too. Okay? Shame on you. Sh not shame on you. See Man of Steel. Exactly. But anyway, um, because it's gonna, he's gonna be dealing with you know him killing Zod. This, so I think how to be, I think it's gonna be like Superman, like him. He feels the pain of killing Zod, and he understands that killing is not good, and that's gonna go into him not killing any anyone because he felt that pain. Uh, I think that uh, he's gonna feel guilt for destroying some of Metropolis. That was a big problem I had with the movie Metropolis. A part of Metropolis was destroyed. People argue. No, it's realistic. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, okay, I don't care whether or not it's realistic. The city is destroyed. People died. Thousands of people are dead. I be a superhero, superhero that can do all that stuff, but yeah, thousands of people. I mean, died. and then it's not like he doesn't even. It's not. It's like he doesn't even care. It's like, it's like ah. Uh, he, he, he kills thousands of people with buildings falling on him. It's obviously apparent. We see people running when buildings are falling. Mm -hmm. um, what about the people still in the buildings? What about the people still in the buildings? Exactly. And then he saves the family. You know, this is one I gotta save this family, right? <laughs> but anyway, I think... Give all the other people that I think died. That, I think in the next movie, they're gonna, they're gonna tap into that. Him realizing that he killed... That those... That the cities... The buildings fell on people. Him understanding that people need to be protected and that he has all this power he can protect him him understanding that he doesn't need to kill killing isn't good and all that and then with all of the city being destroyed right here comes Lex Luthor Man, Superman is an alien he can't be trusted he he does he basically almost destroyed Man, Metropolis I'm about to say Manhattan almost dest destroyed Metropolis he we can't trust him telling the government, putting up ads, you know, he, him, he starts, you know, fixing up Metropolis. But, wait a minute, he gets the help of Bruce Wayne. Him and Bruce Ooh. Wayne, who are billionaires, mm -hmm. start fixing Metropolis. Mm -hmm. But Bruce Wayne, he's been Batman for a while. Superman and Kane. And Superman. he's been Batman, I think it'll, it'll be like, he's been Batman in Gotham for a long time. Mm -hmm. He's like, when he gets to Metropolis fixing it up, he's talking to Lex. Lex is talking about how Superman can't be trusted. And Batman sees all the damage that Superman has done. 
killing people and stuff accidentally. Mm -hmm. And he goes to hunt Superman. Not kill him, but like to bring him to justice. That's what I think the premise of this movie is going to be. I think it's going to be Batman trying to, trying to get to Superman to stop him from, um, you know, just because he killed a whole bunch of people. Now, did you, did you hear the quote now how they announced the movie? And also, if you want to see a cool movie, go look up The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2. Yep, and this actually has to do with The Dark Knight Returns. How they, um, how they announced this movie, which made me believe that it's going to be him as the villain. And I am off camera, by the way, in case you're thinking that I'm invisible. I, I'm, in, I'm not invisible, but... Uh, with, with how they announced the movie was with a Dark Knight Returns quote. So that's also what leads me to believe that Superman and Batman are going to go toe to toe. And they also were talking about Zack Snyder was saying, is the name of the movie going to be, we don't, we don't know the name of the movie, is it going to be Superman versus Batman or Batman versus Superman? No, I think it'll be like something like Man of Steel. Either Man of Steel 2 or Man of Steel, I heard Man of Steel World's Finest. I don't really know if I like that one. Or the Cape Crusade The Cape Crusade. Well, yeah. I know that's Batman and Robin. Harry Lennox was the uh, military guy in Man of Steel. Um, and he read the quote out. He was asked to come out on stage and read the quote to announce this movie. The quote was, I want you to remember Clark Day. In all the years to come, in all your most private moments, I want you to remember my hand at your throat. I want you to remember the one man who beat you. One man who beat you. So that's what makes me believe, you know, this is not gonna be them buddy buddy, this is gonna be them punchy punchy, and then eventually buddy buddy. Now my problem, people, no, people had this problem, right? Mm -hmm. They said that, no, it's too early, we don't even know who Batman is. Stop it! No! No! Who don't know who Batman is? No, like, like we don't know who the new Batman would be because they have a new logo. Did you see the logo? You mean the one that you just showed? Yeah. That, that, that was click, click, click up. Yeah. Click on it. He's about to look at the logo. You guys see the logo right now on screen. That's the logo. That don't look right. <laughs> you don't like weird. that? That is weird. He doesn't like the logo. That just looks weird to me. There's gonna be a new Batman. It's not gonna be Christian Bale. Uh, Christian Bale, Ben said he 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 said a long time ago he's not returning. He said also before that if if Nolan was attached and if a good story came along he would do it. Christian Bale's not doing it. Got a new logo. That, uh, Zack Snyder says a new Batman when talking about it. It's gonna be a new Batman, new logo. See, they need new, something like that. that that's... That was how the original logo was for the movie, for the first one. When they were, uh, when I Am Legend was coming, it looked like this. But, I mean, that new one don't look people, good. people were saying that, um, that you, you, you know, it's gonna be a new Batman. How are they gonna, they can't, they, we don't even know who Batman is. Blah, 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 blah. What I say to that is the same thing Jeremy John said. I mean, you could establish him in this movie. He'll be as established as any other villain would be in a movie, right? We, we all know Batman's story. Yeah. We if all know. Gonna, if you're gonna watch it, you already know who Batman is. Exactly. What he's done. Who's his villains is. Exactly. And um, like he, he'll be as characterized or as established as any other villain would, as Lex Luthor would. I mean, we could. We'll understand his motives. We'll know who he is, and then we'll see them do. And probably in the movie they're gonna give you a backstory like um, Batman is about to take out some guy. And then he has to go to Metropolis. Yeah, and, and or the uh, they'll go briefly over the origin or something. I don't know, whatever. Um, but that was some people were saying, and we don't even know who this Batman is. Why are we gonna do this? Blah 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 blah. But whatever. Um, like I said, that's completely stupid to me. Um, what I really, what I really, really want to know is Batman. Based upon that quote, is Batman gonna win? If you saw the Dark Knight. But they said this, this, this is, they're getting inspiration from that, but they're not saying that that's the basis of the move, because it's still Man of Steel 2. Is Batman going to win? Uh, I mean, there's no kryptonite yet. What can like Batman Luther. do? It's like Luther. Of course they're going to be kryptonite. Well, how would they do kryptonite? What I was thinking is that they'll, Lex and Bruce Wayne, probably Bruce Wayne, uh, is going to, like, tap create some kind of solidify something with like the the crypt the kryptonic 
uh, atmosphere or something like the the Krypton atmosphere, some like solidify it, crystallize it, and that's gonna be kryptonite. That's what I was thinking, something like that. I would think that um, Lex Luthor is trying to rebuild the city, and like he goes like it's it like you know how you have to dig to build a new building. Yeah. How he would dig and find the stone that, and that's some scientists where the stone come from, and they'll realize it's kryptonian. So you were saying that it's already Kryptonian stuff there yeah. on Earth? Yeah, because um, like many times in the comic books and in the TV show, they said that um, some of Superman's planet has fallen to the Earth. Mm-hmm. So there's probably some Kryptonite some are already on the Earth. See, now, I like that idea, but I was also thinking about... Um, you remember, I don't know if you heard about it, but Supergirl, Kara... So there was a comic book that came out that was supposed to be a prequel to the Man of Steel movie, and it was um, Kara. She was on a ship that's uh, Superman's cousin. It took place twenty thousand years before Man of Steel, the movie. Um, Kara, she was um, a part of something. What I don't know. Anyway, they crashed on Earth. The Kryptonian ship crashed on Earth, and it was trapped in the ice. That's the the ship that we saw, right? Kara, she escaped. And that's where the comic ends. So in Man of Steel, 20,000 years later, uh, Kal-El, Clark, Superman, he's there. He's on the ship. Remember, he's on the ship. And there's a dead body, a dead Kryptonian in the mach- in the pod. And there's another pod behind him open. That's the one that Kara got out of. So what I was thinking that either it has something to do with Kara. I doubt it. I don't think it would have anything to do with Kara. I, either, I think it would have something to do with that ship. Right, even though that ship did move, I think that Lex, he could go like go to that ship and possibly get something from it. I don't know. I was just Maybe thinking more like about the this. ship. Cause, yeah, because um, remember they were on the red. They was on the red sun in their planet, so Krypton had no effect on them yeah. there. Yeah. So it could have been like jewelry, uh, a power source, a star. Yeah. So I said star. I meant to I say. Um, like lights. Yeah. Say light. So, so you're saying like something like common items that Kryptonians yeah. would use on their planet. Yeah, it could be. And with Kryptonite. it being in a yellow sun, it would like, be. Kryptonite. It would be it Kryptonite. Kryptonite. It would weaken them. Hmm, that's interesting. And then Bruce Wayne would use that to fight Superman. And Superman. What I want to see, I want to see Batman. Um, I would like it if Batman at first wins. I would love if Batman wins. At first. But then Superman brings it down a notch, you know, say, sit down, human. And then Batman, then, you know, Batman maybe gets the kryptonite and he's like, ah, right? He's like, ah, yeah. And then Superman's like, ah. And then maybe do the, my, I want you to know I beat you or something. And then Superman get up them to have another fight and then uh then them to sit down over some milk and cookies and talk. I, I, I really hope that the writers of this story don't do no Superman Returns stuff where there'll be so much kryptonite that it should probably kill him. But he just keeps going. But he just keeps going. That that whoever did Superman Returns need to rethink the comic books because One Piece should make them almost uh, pass out. Yeah, and he had some inside of him and inside he was holding a continent filled with Christmas. Yes. That just doesn't make sense. I don't think they'll do bad that. Writers, <laughs> bad writers. They're bad writers. I don't think they'll do that. I think it's... I think... I, th- I think that... Uh, they're gonna introduce Kryptonite. They have to. Yes, because... Batman, of course. That's the only thing that Batman can do. Unless, unless he finds out a way to... Uh, make red so uh, well they don't know his weaknesses yeah they don't know that no yeah so i would assume that first of all batman is going to already know who clark kent is or at least gonna figure out he's batman i think i think yeah i think he'll figure i don't think lex luther is gonna know yeah next week. yeah lex i think never knew. is lex luther gonna be in this movie that, there won't be no reason for batman to come yeah if Either Lex Luthor invited him, or or maybe he just wanted to rebuild the city. Yeah, I th- and um, it's already been established. Bruce Wayne is in this um, he's in this universe because remember the fight between Superman and Zod went up into space, hit the uh, the satellite that had Wayne Enterprises on it. So yeah, um, that could be how he got there. They had to come fix the fix the satellite, satellite. but it's, that's in space. 
Wait, you didn't hit it? If they, he hit it, and then, oh yeah, remember they were, because Superman and the satellite fell back to Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and he might have destroyed to thousands of buildings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of people just died. <laughs> but not thousands of buildings, thousands of people. I'm sure they got hit by that debris. Way to go, Superman! Thank you for saving us! Way to go! Yeah, people were like, he saved the world! Oh! Thousands! He saved the world! Yeah! yeah he killed, killed half thou of it. You know, he didn't kill half of it, but killed a nice percentage of the freaking Metropolis people. That's why Batman's coming! That's why, that's why he's coming! At least, let's, let's look at this. Let's look at this. In Batman, in the Batman movie, he doesn't destroy half the world. He yeah. just breaks up a couple of bones of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give him a couple scars. Yeah. Superman destroys half the city. Which is a better superhero? And he's he's he, he saved that family. <laughs> he saved that family. And that's why Batman's coming. That's why. Do we both agree with that? That's why he's coming. He's like, listen, Clark. Um, I understand you. You think you're good, but you just killed thousands of people. But you saved the family. Though. You saved the family. Though. I give you credit. For I that. give you so so. But yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah, and Lex is like egging him on. Yeah, he can't be trusted. He can't. And by the end of the movie, you know, Wait, probably Bruce and Clark are cool. I always wonder this: what is Lex's beef with Superman? Well, he he doesn't trust him because he's like, well, this person has all this power. He's an alien. He can he can't be trusted. Uh, and at the end of the movie, I think especially gonna be he he has all this power. He killed thousands of people and he destroyed he, some of Metropolis. And he brought people to come. Destroy yeah, he the world. brought exactly. He brought these groups. They they can't be trusted. Okay, they're going to kill us all. They're going to try to enslave us. And and in Lex's mind, he you know he's the hero. And in, in his mind, he's like you know what we can't trust him. No one else is gonna stand up. I'm the brave one. I'll do it. I'll spite for our people because our people we need we can't we can't let this alien run around doing whatever he thinks. That's what I think Lex Luthor is gonna be. I think he's gonna be played by Brian Cranston. You know, you know who that is? No. The Breaking Bad. You don't you don't watch Breaking Bad, so you're missing out. It's gonna end soon. You need to watch it. I'm sorry. Breaking Bad. If you my Breaking Bad watchers out there, you know, yeah, I think it's gonna be like he can't be trusted, you know. First, first of all, in his, in his mind, I need to rebuild the city because that'll make me look even better. I'm the savior. Rebuild the city, get Bruce Wayne to help. Bruce Wayne, there, I'm sure they'll probably be friends because at this time, there's no reason for Bruce Wayne to think that Lex is evil. Wait, what if, um, what if, like, I know this doesn't make sense with the story, but what if in the movie, Lex Luthor's trying to run for president? Because, you know, Lex Luthor has been trying to do that for a yeah, while. Yeah, he's been trying to run for president. And, um, he wants uh, Bruce Wayne to help him for his, um, campaign, political... His campaign. His campaign. And his Bruce image. Wayne, yeah, and Bruce Wayne is, like, backing him up. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then he, then with, you know, in terms of that, mm -hmm. he rebuilds the city. To make himself look he good. Still, and he doesn't trust... Superman pr tries to get the public on, like... On his side and off Superman's side, even though I'm sure the public, they don't know what to think because he just killed thousands of people, but then destroyed. But saved his. that family. He saved the family, and and he also did save the people the from the Kryptonians, um, went to the Phantom Zone. But I just really wait, wait, wait. I have to bring this up in the, about the movie. Why in the world did? He's in the middle of a crisis. People, an uh, alien race just said they they're going to destroy the world if he doesn't come. Um, what's it called? Um, join them? Not join them. Surrender to them. But the first thing he does, he goes to a preacher that knows nothing about him and tells him that he's the alien. Just basically threw out his secret identity. Well, I mean, what is the preacher gonna do? That's what I said. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, and yet, he wanted to tell someone. And yet, he he had he had a little um he had a version of his dad there, a he, version of he his dad. He could have talked to his. He could have talked to his dad, and he would have told him that he's looking for something. Oh, I'm also getting this from a, um, and a, it, a YouTube short. And That's his dad would have told him his dad about told, Zod. Yeah, about Zod, what he's trying to do, why he's trying to do it. No, he goes to a preacher that knows nothing well, about anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
I, it didn't seem weird me looking at it. It still doesn't seem weird when you think about it. So. I was, it seemed weird to me. As soon as I saw that, I was like, why? <laughs> What's the purpose? Yeah. Maybe that preacher's gonna turn out to work for Lex. That, that'd be so funny. And that'd be so funny. That boy from Smallville, can Kansas, that Kansas boy. He's the it, one. His name is, um... Well, he didn't Clint know his name. He didn't know his name. That's true. That's true. But yeah, I think... Uh, I think Batman is going to be coming to stop him. He's going to be with Lex for a second. He's going to be like, you know what? You just killed these people. You can't be trusted. You have all this power. I'm going to... I'm gonna stop you. That's what I think Batman's gonna be doing. And then, you know, after they fight a few times and they sit down, have some milk and cookies, talk about each other's friendships and relationships stuff, maybe talk about their like like to have long walks on the beach, and then Bruce Wayne is like, um, yeah, I'm Bruce Wayne. That's what Batman Batman's I'm Bruce Wayne. Then you know they talk and stuff. And Batman, you know, he I think they end up becoming not friends, but you know, like cool with each other. Mm -hmm. They accept that they exist. Maybe even hint upon there being other superheroes. And then tie that into the justice. Because um, I heard this off of a YouTube channel that um, the makers of uh, Man of Steel said that if the Man of Steel does well yeah. in the movies, that they're going to make a Justice League. Yeah, they said they didn't announce Justice League officially. There's rumors all over. There's a rumor that Flash is 2016. And then Justice League 2017. That would be so long. Why are they making a Flash movie? Flash is pretty cool though. Why not Wonder Woman? Why why make a Flash movie and not one? You know what they need to do? What you guys? I well, hope somebody from three. Warner Brothers. But I hope with somebody from Warner Brothers is listening. What you guys need to do? Take this to the social media, okay? So, you see what people like Halo Forward onto Dawn, um, the Mortal Kombat Legacy, or, or is that, I don't know what it's called, the Mortal Kombat series. What you need to do, look at the Mortal Kombat, how they had each episode centered around a character. Make a 30 minute to an hour sh a video or a mini movie about these characters and put it online. Put it online and lead that up to the Justice League. That's what you need to do if you want to get the ju if you want to have these characters established. If you, that'll be a way for everybody. I know you guys are like, but we want money. We want money. That's the best way you can do it because you're not. I don't see. I, I don't know these studios. There, they don't make you know more than one movie a year for superheroes like Marvel. Marvel, they do it. They'll have like a. Uh, Iron Man and Thor come out in the year, but for some reason DC doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't know why. But w if you're not gonna have, you know, next year it'd be Batman and Flash, because you're not gonna work on two movies at the same time. Don't don't just have it. Here's Batman and Superman, and then the next year here's Flash, and then here's Justice League. That's weird. Don't do that. If you want to do it anyway, have the Batman movie and Superman movie, whatever, and make these shorts that'll. With the cat, with the people that are going to be in the Justice League, have them be the character, explain their story, their origin, um, and then put that up on YouTube for people to watch, for people to understand the character, for people to get to know the character. Do that for each character that you can have in the Justice League, and then come when it's time for Justice League to come out. People, yeah, people know. know, people know. Um, and for the people that don't have internet and they're not going to see it, well, Too you bad. know, oh well, oh well. That's what you, that's that would be the best way for me for that I think you could do it, or just don't say anything about the characters and wait to Justice League, which people think that's a horrible idea. I think it could work. I think you don't. I think you could you could establish these characters in the Justice League movie. It would be more difficult, but I think that's a way. I think you could have it Justice League. They're all together, and then make them then then after Justice League have them all separate and go on their parts. What were you saying? I'm sorry, but I always like to um, go back to the cartoon versions, like of um, like Justice League, Batman, right. Superman. But um, in the cartoon Justice League, they they didn't give any origin of the superheroes, but yet it was a good movie, and you didn't worry about the origin. You knew who they was. You knew that was Batman. You knew that was Superman. You knew that was Green Lantern. Right. But they just um, met each other. Yeah. Talk, made friends. Oh, some friends. They, yeah. 
Yeah, all this you know, the last shit. And then they just fought. They had a they had a common problem. They just fought. They could do that. I mean, we all know at least most of their storm origin. But it depends on which one. Yeah. The Flash. I was about to say the Flash is either Wally West or um, what's the other guy's name? Ben. Ben um, I forgot his name. I forgot. Okay, it. most I, common I kept ones Wally West. Wally West. People know about him. Yeah. Most common ones Wally West. Um, the Martian. Right. I don't know if they're going to do the white What character black should be in the Justice League? Huh? What character should even be in there? Yeah. Superman, Batman, Flash, Flash Wonder, Woman. Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. Batman. That's what I think. They, I think they, those are the ones that you really need. You can introduce Martian or whatever, but those are the ones I think you really need. Because um, they always change yeah. who's in it. And it's, always, it's a big group. But the most, like, the most common three is Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Yeah. I think that's why I said, if you're going to do any movie, do Wonder Woman. Don't do The Flash. Don't do that. People wonder why. I know it's like, it's a female. Oh, people aren't going to see that. That's because any of the people didn't go see Catwoman, not because it was Catwoman, because it was a horrible movie. That's why. It was pretty crappy. If you Wonder Woman, a Wonder Woman movie would be good. You liked that movie? I kind of did. I thought it was okay. I, I don't know. I never really was into Catwoman's origin or comic book, so I thought it was good. Well, I was a kid where I saw it, so. Anyway. <laughs> I, and plus, if you're not gonna, don't do one. That's what my problem. Don't do here's Flash or here's Wonder Woman. Here's the Justice League. Don't do that. You got if you're not gonna, if you're gonna do one, don't do any. Okay, just say Batman, Superman, Justice League. And then have all the characters in there, and then after the Justice League, do the standalone movies because they're already established characters. Maybe do prequels. You don't have to do origin, or you don't have to do the first move. This the uh, the first they're they're their movie and then bring them all together. You don't have to be like Marvel. You can be different. Just like, or you could do the internet idea. I was going to say, we're going, we're going back to the Batman Superman thing. You said that they didn't have Batman's origin in it. They could do what um, the Avengers did. How, with um, the Hulk. They had the first, the last recent Hulk movie and they had a different actor in it for the Hulk. That's the same person. Okay. It was supposed to be the same Hulk, yeah. It was supposed to be the same Hulk. Maybe? Yeah. But they could still do, do that. Yeah. But I mean, they don't need to do. They don't need to do for me. They don't need to do the first movie. Letting they don't need to have that Thor lead up to the Avengers. They don't need to have that. They can have just Justice League, then Flash, Wonder Woman, Martian, Lantern. That's what I. You don't need to be like that. We will. We'll, the audience will accept. Oh, these characters. They'll be like, oh, these characters are new. But if you got the good characterization and the, us us feeling for the characters, it won't matter whether or not we knew of them first. It won't matter because the story will be there, the characters will be there, everything will fall into place. And then do the movies with the characters that we already have now come to accept. Do the do the movies with those characters as standalones. Anyway, we're running out of time. Any last any last thoughts? Oh, if, if you destroy a city, you always save a family. Yeah. Is this movie going to be good? Yes. Batman it's Superman going to be good? It's got, it's it's got, got Batman. Batman in it. It's got Batman. Really quickly, they're adding this in. This is after we filmed pre what you just, you know, saw. The name of this movie is going to be Batman oh. versus Superman. Versus Superman versus Batman. However you like your car. That is... The worst. They have no imagination. No imagination. No imagination. No creativity. I want to know what team. What is wrong with? It? You couldn't give Superman two movies. You couldn't get his own. I mean, this movie I still believe is gonna be Man of. But how? How are people going to the general audience? How are they going to know this is Man of Steel two? They're not. Until they watch it. Wait, 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 this is not a conversation going. You, you, did you see Man of Steel 2? No. Oh. You mean Batman vs Superman? No, it's Man of Steel 2. What are you talking about? It's Batman vs Superman. No, it's Man of Steel 2 though. It's Excuse a sequel. Me. To How Man is it a sequel? It's not Man of Steel 2. It's it, a sequel. Did you see Man of Steel 2 on there? It says Batman vs Superman. <laughs> That's how the conversation is going to go. The general audience, they don't know anything. <laughs> they don't. Why would you do this? Come on now, what about Man of Steel, World's Finest? Or Man of Steel 2, the simple set.
Superman, this movie I still believe is going to be about Superman. I think Batman is going to be a secondary, if they do it right, it's going to be a secondary person. He's going to be the, the, the anti-hero, the villain. He's going to be the antagonist to Superman until in the end things come together. That's what I well now believe. well now we know that he's gonna be the antagonist yeah <laughs> if if you wonder I'll put it at the screen yeah because it's Batman versus Superman that's sad they need to get whoever came up with this time needs to get fired hire Max star. Landis hire Max Landis if you don't know who that is that is the director of Chronicle he made a video. He was originally going to write, rewrite the death of the death and return of Superman uh, comic book, but because of some scheduling Logan's issues, um, things didn't work out. He put up a video yesterday of him basically explaining his story, how it was going to be, much like how I do my Amazing Spider-Man story. Very interesting, very good. His video will be in the description below. Tell him Venom sent you. Um, yeah, you haven't seen that yet. You gotta see that. It's really good. Anyway, check that out in the description. We're Oh, I also wanted to like to also add that this is spoiler alert for The Dark Knight Returns. In the end, how Batman won, he had the Green Arrow shoot Kryptonite towards Superman. It was like Kryptonite dust, so as soon as it hit him, it turned to dust. It got to his body, so he was able to he reject really it. it in, right? He was yeah. able to reject it, That's and then Batman. Batman just kicked his ass. But that's, I mean, I could see that happening in the, in the, I, I could see that happening in the movie, um, something Batman uses like a kryptonite, like smoke bomb, yep. something like that. Anyway, that's it. This, but you need to watch the movie. The movie's good. The movie is good. I didn't see it yet. That, Batman vs. Superman. Uh. I, I really hope that they change the title. Like somebody gets some sense in the next bowl. And as long, how long will it take for this movie? It comes out 2015. Within the time it comes out, somebody it's grows some sense. It's not gonna happen. They gotta have, you know, they gotta have Batman in the title. That way people come see Batman. Batman. People, the critics. The critics. You know, you don't know why. You don't know why Man of Steel was kind of flippy floppy. It's because of. No Batman. People love Batman. We got the Batman in that type of Batman. People come see it. It's Batman. Well, at least they call it Man of Steel versus um, The Dark Knight. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then they can say it's a sequel. Oh gosh. Alright guys, I'm going to tune in. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you stayed through the whole video, awesome for you. Thank you. Uh, hit the, you hit the like button. Uh, send this video all around your friends. You know what I'm saying? All around your friends. And, and comments. Comment. Leave me that comment. Let me know what you guys think about the Superman and Batman movie and the Justice League. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Peter Tamir saying peace out. Have a good one. And later on, peace out. I'm gone. Peace.